episode 125 of Attach Line Man podcast. Thank you very much for tuning in once again. What gets me super rigid this week is the idea of there being yet more Premier League fixtures. Well, Cup, Carling Cup, Carabao Cup, whatever it's called nowadays. That Man Cup City final. versus Aston Villa. Yeah, the Cup final that's not the FA Cup. At Wembley. Yes, that one. We're going to discuss that. We're going to look ahead to that. We're going to talk about Manchester United, have a look at what is going on there. We're going to also have a look at Arsenal because I think there's a lot of talking points of those two clubs right now that we can get into. Delicioso sabor! De pura frescura. We're then going to have a look at Barcelona. We're going to go abroad. We're going to go to Europe. We're going to go abroad. We love Europe. We, we appreciate Europe. We appreciate it. We love, we appreciate what it does for us. And we like incorporating it because we think we're better with Europe. We're going to look at Barcelona. We're going to look at the ridiculous injury rule of La Liga. And we're going to look at uh, Mr. Braithwaite. Give some credit to Braithwaite. Yes. So, and then uh, and then the bits here on mm. my running order says outro, which means I go up. Rigid. Rigid. My recorder has a six seconds pre-record. So whenever you say rigid, there's a six second six seconds pre-recorded to that for safety. Um, so if you're wondering, it's always going to be after the six seconds mark. Hi, I'm Chris Smalling for Peter. Anyone who knows me knows how much my dogs, Reuben and Miley, mean to me. Be your dog's biggest defender. Right, so this is, as we mentioned in the intro, this is the part of the podcast where we are going to look ahead to the Premier League fixtures. Can you rigid, please, Christian? Cut that. Rigid. So, as we mentioned in the introduction, this is going to be the section of the podcast where we look ahead to the weekend fixtures in the Premier League. And pick out our highlights and our lowlights and our midlights. We are now going to look ahead. What tickles your fancy? Let's look ahead away from Everton and Man United because we're doing a Man United section. Can I give you one then? Can I, <laughs> can I, can I discuss a fixture with you? Yes, you can discuss because, a fixture. Because, albeit, these are not headline games. These are not they're not. They're really uh, they're not. not they're fillers. They're important games, though, because at the minute the table is so tight, it's ridiculous. Well, Southampton will be fine. They will be. Then they're... Sugar Shane Long. Sugar Shane Long. There's been an outbreak. Just, just let me. Nice. Yeah. I mean, that means yeah. nothing to people listening, but yeah, fair enough. It does. You know, the coronavirus, which is rampant right now. This is taking a very weird turn right at the start. This usually you don't usually spring this stuff on me until later in the day. So tell me something. What, what's what's going to surprise me is are Sheffield United going to be up there fighting for Europe? So, no. Uh, Europa, yes, not Champions League. I don't think. I think fourth and fifth. Here you go. I think at the end of the season. We're not doing predictions, but I'll just throw this then. This is something I think. I think fourth and fifth will be Man United and Chelsea, and I don't know which way around it will be. But that's my gut instinct right now. Rigid. Very rigid. Be your dog's biggest defender. Never leave them in a parked car, even for a minute. Keep them cool. You'll be glad you did. La orden. ¿Me das un fresco frutinho? Ajá, ¿eh? ¿qué sabor? ¿Qué sabor me recomiendas? Todos los frescos frutinhos son ricos. A mí me gusta. Me gusta. ¡Higuita! ¡Ya vengo, papá! Con frutinho, tú vives el sabor ganador. Con frutinho, lo fresco de hoy. Frutinho, delicioso sabor. De pura frescura. It is the English Football League Cup, otherwise known as the Carabao Cup final. It's this underdog mentality. Why do we like underdogs so much? Tell me that. Tell me why. Well, yeah, it's, it's, it's Rocky Balboa versus but Ivan Why? Where does that come from? I don't know. Why do we like the underdog so much? I don't know. But you're Answers talking... on a postcard. Answers on a postcard. Why does the world love an underdog so much? There you much? go. I'm going to end it on that. Should we end it on that? End it on that. Underdogs. Rigid.
we should left more of a talk about Manchester United and we're going to talk about Arsenal Football Club in, in a positive manner leave the negativity okay don't want it don't want any of it but one of those is it is amazing what happens when you have a position in your side where you know that you need to strengthen and you strengthen it with a player who fits what you need them to fit perfectly. The saviour that is Bruno, Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes. Again, look, I oh. am not going to sit here as a Man United fan and say everything is now rosy, uh, but I'm, I am very happy with the midfield trio of Fred McTominay and Bruno Fernandes. I think that you get in that scenario you get one who sits deep you get one who can be a ball carrier and you get one who's going to push further forward yeah, what I like about it and what we I have always said and I have consistently said time after time after time is that if they get rid of Solskjaer when things get tough all of this has been for nothing mm. he has given young players chances in this team he has also managed them very very well in so much as he hasn't rushed anyone into the first team and then played them and played them and played them Arsenal like and this is where and let's they, keep it let's keep it positive no it, it's a part of a rounded conversation is that the issue with Arsenal is the same as the issue was at Man United Man United's issue was the middle of the field they seemingly seem to have made a massive deal, massive leap forward in addressing that issue also I'm going to say it because it needs come to be come on said, Mr Negative uh, Mustafi uh, has, been, has been decent I, uh, Mustafi has been far more decent it's than so he was it's so hard to win back uh, to, to, to win everyone back on side and Granit Xhaka has done that as well it's so hard it's so hard to win people's trust Look, the Granit Xhaka thing is is, is I mean they, at no both point those did we players, ever do anything but side with Granit Xhaka in that entire scenario because both those players have had to have had to go out of their way to prove to prove a point you know I and think there's two different cases but yes with Granit Xhaka instead of uh, with Mustafi is that Granit Xhaka I think wasn't backed by the fans when he should have been backed and as you said before mm. the key is in the title in that you support the club you're a supporter he wasn't supported by the foot by the football fans of that at Arsenal Football Club mm. and he should have been and he was he just had the human reaction to it the problem with Mustafi is at times last season and the season before I didn't even think he was actually a footballer so you're giving him credit for a yeah, little turnaround I think, he, there I we think go. he's had That's a little nice turnaround and I nice think it's got a lot to do with his new hair like you said I think Arsenal will finish above United they won't let's look at Barcelona and let's look at the Ghana and let's look at La Liga and a certain rule which has come up recently um, tell me what the rule is Okay, the rule in La Liga is that if a club has a long term injury to a player they may bring in another player to replace them. Now, the rule is that they have to be a either a free agent, so this is outside the transfer window, um, a free agent, or play in La Liga. So they can't sign someone from another league. It has to be from another La Liga club. It's unfair. Sounds unfair already. Well, it's not, because other people have taken advantage of it, and they will continue to take advantage of it. If you're impacted by an injury to a player when you're going to you know remember your squad and he's an important member and he's out long term you can bring somebody else in uh, and replace them the problem is is that there's also a rule in the league where every single player has to have a minimum fee release clause in their contract which isn't in the Premier League it's not the Bundesliga or you know anywhere else in La Liga every player has a minimum fee release clause so if it's if it's matched the club have no option; they have to accept it. Mm. What's happened is the Ghana were bot. They're they're fighting relegation from La Liga right now. Their top scorer was Braithwaite. Mm. Braithwaite now has been purchased under this rule by Barcelona. They went in. They met. They matched his minimum fee release clause. So there's no option. So they can't reject it. So it's not like they had a bid and then there's a there's a you know they can negotiate. They met his minimum fee. He signs for Barcelona. And they're done. The other side, what a what a dream come true! What an absolute dream! It's a it's the stuff that you dream of kicking a football around as a kid. For this to yeah. happen at twenty eight years old years of age for Danish football, like Danish international football player, he's no slouch. You know, he's worked yeah. hard to get where he is, and this is also what comes from playing well against the top teams. He scored. It must have got noticed by Barcelona when he scored against them last year. Braithwaite has worked so hard to get these opportunities, 
and it just so happens the stars aligned at the right place at the right time and he's got that dream of like you said from the bottom to the top and his first debut appearance when he played alongside Messi imagine that you're playing you're playing that Barcelona team that yeah. iconic historic Barcelona team and you've just supplied a goal you've assisted exactly. a goal not even just playing with him he got an assist and the humility and just the, the loveliness of saying I'm not going to wash my shirt again a hug from Messi it, like it just cements the fact that it is the stuff dreams are made of for football. very very pleased for him and I hope he's very successful in Barcelona go. never more positive to no, I, I'm positive by him it's just again it's it, just... it, it is it's not fair it's not it, fair I would much rather uh, be positive about an entire football club rather than one player and unfortunately we're probably now watching the fact that a football club is going to get relegated because of this mm -hmm. it's hard to be positive but two sides of the coin great great fair enough yeah, fair enough yeah. dreams Richard thank you very much once again for tuning in and downloading and uh, thank you very much to Bendy Getting Media for producing this episode of the podcast um it's it's you know it's One very we're very grateful you, you could i mean they're all on the on the the list for late i mean you know we could talk about them later arbitration everyone loves arbitration but yeah thank you to bendy Geddig media thank you very much bendy Geddig media <laughs> Delicioso sabor.